Oh, you see this, dude? Check this out, dude. Look at this. Look in the mirror. Right there. Pow! Yeah. Oh, a wise man once said, the day you start lifting is the day you become forever small. Because you'll never be as big as you want to be. That was me. I said that. Don't say I never warned you. These words should be printed on every gym contract. It's like Morpheus convincing you to take the red pill, only to realize you now live in a sewer and fight blenders and robot squids because you think you're the one. 165, soaking wet. <laughs> no one thinks about being small more than a big dude. Small people don't think about being small. They're just small. Just like a dog doesn't think about being a dog. He just stays happy and stupid with no goals. <laughs> Is this a push or a pull? Set. <laughs> Tip: You never fail if you don't have goals. Push or pull? Do I push it or do I pull it to get back in? It's not working. Where's Morpheus when I need him, dude? The moment you try to better yourself is the moment you admit you were never good from the start. And lifting is just a cycle of self-improvement fueled by self-hatred. So can this cycle really be broken? Furthermore, thus, should it even be broken? Matrix curls, baby. Send that to the Matrix. Uh, what up, Trinity? Okay, the first step is to be honest with yourself and do what the mirror never will and reflect on your gains. Ask yourself, do you have body dysmorphia or are you just small? This is actually a two-part answer. And both parts are yes. Chances are you are actually small and think you are even smaller. The reality is you are nowhere near your potential due to several factors that are completely your fault. Yeah. These factors include fucking assy to 3000. <laughs> your genetics. If you didn't want garbage genetics, then you shouldn't have been born. Bitching about it now ain't gonna change thousands of years of inbreeding that led to your bird chest. You can't enter a dunk contest at 5'5 and complain when you don't win. If it's not your sport, it's your fault for playing. Like they say, don't hate the game, hate yourself. Your lack of work ethic. <laughs> Going to the gym to get a pump and lifting the same weight for eight years doesn't make you disciplined. It's the same as sitting on the couch and watching TV. You enjoy it and it kills time so you spend less of your day existing and facing reality. Don't blame body dysmorphia if your idea of training a failure is training until you're a failure. Super set. Oh, you diet. Tastes like dry pussy, dude. Being afraid to do a real bulk because you're holding on to your high school abs. It's like marrying your high school sweetheart because you're afraid to end up alone. Look, just fucking let her go, dude. Cut her off before she gets frumpy, go to college, fuck a bunch of whores, get sloppy, have a bunch of raw sex, abortions, a bunch of kids, dude. Years down the line, you're partying still, dude. Spring break at 30? Fuck yeah, why not, dude? Live a little, put on the fucking pounds, man. Bulk, embrace the bulk. Do this for many years. And then you just have this giant fucking empty hole that you're trying to fill with mass and food and bulking and it's just, it's making the hole bigger. And then you so say you fuck some more whores. It's like, what does it matter? Cause like, she was, she was the one dude, she was great. And you, you fucking ended it. <laughs> oh man, it fucking. <laughs> so instead of facing the truth and putting in the work, which won't even work, but more on that later, you lie to yourself and blame it on body dysmorphia. So the first step to curing the smallness in your mind is curing the smallness in your body. For more tips on how to do this, watch every single video on my channel at least three times, don't skip the ads, and buy everything I tell you to. Easy. And now for the mental component, I did some research on chat TRT 
on how to cure body dysmorphia. Is this chat TR? Is it chat BBC.com? Okay, this might be the wrong website. Hang on. Or, or is it? Chat, a lot of dicks, but we're not, we're not gonna jump to conclusions. Anyway, and I'm gonna go over the top suggestions from a website robot who's never experienced the suffering of human existence and doesn't even lift. First up, seek professional help. Now at first, I thought this meant talk to the old juice head who lives in the locker room at LA Fitness. But when I tried asking him about body dysmorphia, he choked me and then cried and then did his posing routine from the 1986 Mr. Universe of Pittsburgh. So that was, that was a weird experience and I decided to unpack that um, with some actual therapy. Ugh. Naturally, I was a skeptic of any therapy that involved emotions instead of just regular motions. Because honestly, I thought emotions were just like motions you do electronically. Like Wii Tennis, you know? Which is for dudes who use sunscreen. What are you afraid of a little bit of sun, dude? Are you afraid of a little bit of light? It's like millions of miles away. What next? You gonna tell me you get cyber bullied? Just log off, dude. Go inside. You afraid of the sun? <laughs> Fucking pussy, dude. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Hey, what's up, Doc? Melanoma. Yeah, I know, sounds fucking made up, dude. Melon, no way I don't have that shit. Nah, couldn't be, dude. I'm built different. All right, bye. Bro, hand to God, I went to therapy and had the best workout of my life. I didn't even need pre-workout, which made me realize I don't need therapy, just pre-workout. So, tell me why it hurts. Uh, yeah, see that lactic acid buildup, Doc. You see this? You see that pump right there? You all that blood flow? It's like getting a hot boner. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that and, uh, and I hate my dad. Those two things mainly. Oof, god damn, you seeing this, dude? You seeing this? I should be charging you, man. All right, doc, I'll send you the bill. See, the problem with therapy is it makes you see reality. And the reality is you're fucking small. If I wanted to get big, why would I see a shrink? If you want to see a shrink, look in the fucking mirror. Save yourself $300. Yeah, call me Sigmund Royd. And now, a word from our sponsor, Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Their products are precision engineered tools for your tools. Manscaped's performance package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Join over 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code BROSCIENCE at manscaped.com. If my math is correct, that's 16 million balls. Now as a gentleman, before I get intimate with a lady, I gotta make sure I groom my shroom so she's not sucking on what feels like a lollipop that fell on the floor. But trust me, I know from experience, if you use the wrong trimmer, your balls could end up looking like the baseball from the sandlot. But Manscaped has you covered with the Performance Package 4.0, which includes the Lawn Mower 4.0. The fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It's also waterproof and has a 4000K LED light for precision. It's like a lightsaber for your balls. The Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs, which are the only tugs that are going to be reduced. Plus, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner, so your lady can enjoy the smell of your freshly cut grass. Plus a free bag and box of briefs. Get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code BROSCIENCE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using code BROSCIENCE. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Join a support group. Finding a community of like-minded individuals with similar experiences and struggles can provide a sense of belonging, like belonging to a gym and training until you're the biggest dude there. Okay, now I'm here with a member of my support group uh, with a body dysmorphia expert. So, uh, how did you do it? Get huge? No, no, how did you beat body dysmorphia? 
by getting huge. Because honestly, I mean, like, look at you. I mean, like, look, dude, you're fucking tiny, but you think you're big. And it's honestly impressive. I mean, not like your physique, but like your mental state. Listen, at one point, I was small like you, and now that I'm huge, I don't have to worry about body dysmorphia. Look at that, dude. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, seriously, dude, like dog shit genetics, the work ethic of a fucking Instagram model. You look like a miscarriage, dude, but you still think you're huge? huge. Crazy, dude. Yeah. Honestly, what's your secret? Next recommendation is medication. No brainer here, talking about steroids. Now, at first, it seems like the obvious solution. Steroids are the cure to being small. So they must be the cure to thinking you're small. But all this does is supercharge your body dysmorphia. It's literally body dysmorphia on steroids. It's like doing meth to cure your anorexia. I mean, take a look at anyone who abuses steroids. Is this the picture of somebody who has a healthy relationship with their self-image? I mean, you think somebody who is happy with their size would kill themselves to look like a boulder covered in dick skin? If steroids cured body dysmorphia, you would stop trying to get even bigger as soon as you got big the first time. Once you go to the absolute extreme to solve a problem and it doesn't work, what the fuck do you do? You just bet your life savings to beat your gambling addiction. And the only way to win is to keep betting on yourself. Limiting triggers. Avoid excessive mirror checking. Honestly, this sounds like bullshit. You ever seen a gym without mirrors? It's called a prison. What's the point of lifting if I can't see myself with a pump? Which is the only time I like myself. Plus, how do I know if I've beaten body dysmorphia if I don't constantly check? How am I gonna overcome my insecurities if I don't fixate on them until they disappear? Dude, I'm everywhere, man. This is, this is fucking great. It's like a gangbang with just myself. To be honest with you, to be honest, my chest is a little flat. My chest is a little flat here because, like, my shoulders are like way more round than last week. I feel like I'm losing it, dude. Fuck. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Look at you. Fucking look at you. Look at you. You're fucking disgrace. You're pathetic. You're fucking pathetic. And what does he know, man? Huh? Look at this. Look at this right there. What does he know about that? Yeah, what you know? We know about this right here. Don't listen to him, man. It's you versus you. Versus you. Versus that guy. Don't compare yourself to others. Again, calling bullshit on this one. What am I supposed to compare myself to? Because comparing myself to myself is exactly what got me in this mess. Making people feel small is the only way I feel big. You want to take that away from me too? Don't seek reassurance. Honestly, kind of the whole reason I'm here. So don't really get this one. I mean, if I can't tell how big I am, the only way for me to know for sure is to fish for compliments. I mean, if I'm in a room and no one mentions my muscles, I might as well be fucking dead. Which brings us to the last solution. Die. But not today. Now, if there's anything I've taught you over the past decade, it's that lifting is a metaphor for life. So if you're looking to explore the mysteries of being a Titanic wreck, Hop in the submarine, cause it's gonna get deep and your head might implode. As men in life, we hope that at some point we can just rest. That if we achieve just a few things, life won't be so hard. But if you ever taken a rest day, it fucking sucks. It feels like you're dying. And that's cause you are. Cause as a man, the moment you stop pursuing your mission is the moment you start dying. Before you go try and cure your body dysmorphia, ask yourself, is that voice in your head telling you that you're smaller than you are? Or is it telling you that you can be bigger than you are? The answer yet again is yes. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every time. Every time you feel body dysmorphia creep in, head to DomLeds.com and cure it on the spot with these six shirts. Oh, sorry, what? Hello, I'm getting a call. Oh, Mr. President? Yeah, that's right. We are celebrating 4th of July with the sale. 20% off everything. Now through the 5th, mass bro shops hats. Squatly crew, bigger than you. 
Only gains. Make sure to fucking tip me. Classic reps for Jesus. Much more. Also, if you're cutting for this summer and don't want to absolutely butt fuck your diet, head over to GainGummies.com for some gym candy. That's right. Protein gummy bears. 18 grams of protein, 4 grams net carbs, 1 gram of fat, 100 calories per bag. Tastes like real fucking candy.